what's going on guys Warcrux Zero, welcome back to the channel so I made a poll uh, probably a couple of weeks ago about uh, what you guys kind of wanted to see in content going forward and a majority of the votes were for uh, combat analysis and some wacky builds so I figured I'd kind of start out the uh, the new era of me doing YouTube full time with uh, a small combat analysis so I'm, I'm going to kind of go through uh, my thought process and I am on a mag DK um, so you have to play it much more methodical um, and there's also some other common courtesies I kind of want to go through as well if you're a veteran, a veteran to ESO or a solo player or you're new or what have you. But I'll just kind of give you my, my thought process here in this, this little uh, 1VX. So let's get right into it. So at the very start here, um, I noticed that there's another DK here. I personally, uh, when I do 1VXs and try to do clips, I don't want to have someone else interacting with this exchange so kind of what I'm doing I'm not really going offensive I just leave there for defensive purposes so I'm just kind of trying to cut around I'm um, just as a common courtesy to see what the other stam DK is going to do because I don't want to kind of mess up his 1vx I'm assuming if you're a solo player you're kind of going for clips so this whole first beginning part here I'll go ahead and uh, cut to the chase I I'm just kiting around and uh, giving this guy a common courtesy so anyway I run away, kind of reset the fight, kind of look back, okay, the DK is probably dead now. So this is where I kind of want to go back in and kind of see you know, what uh, what kind of carnage or whatever is left over. So DK is dead, so now I can comfortably do a 1VX without any help from anyone else. So um, you always want to try to start with the healers if you can surprise burst them. Um, right here um, with DK, it's all about buff and debuff management. Um, when your buffs start falling off you really get in trouble mag dk by itself does not have mobility so when you go into a fight you have to keep your terrain uh, in check you have to have a contingency plan when shit goes wrong and you just have to pick and choose your battles very wisely you'll notice in this clip and a lot of the other combat analysis I'm going to do is that uh, I kite out uh, quite a lot. Now with this build I'm running, um, it's a Desert Rose, Burning Spell Weave, a Vet Strath, Inferno Staff, and Blood Spawn. It's very important. Uh, I'm running a super high damage build on this because Desert Rose pretty much sustains you. It's very important when you get your ult, you just need to toss it out. Um, point being, yeah it does damage. It may not line up with your burst exactly how you want it to do but it's more of a, a resource management tool because of your uh, battle roar passive. So that's pretty much what I did there and it just so happens, um, I guess I caught them off guard, they didn't heal. But right now, uh, I do have a sweaty dude on me, so it's I want to spin the wind. So right now, just essentially kiting around, uh, using my terrain to my advantage. DK, like I said, buff d debuff management. It's all about dividing and conquering. Uh, with DK, it really is. There's some classes out there that you can just jump in a group of people and just just 1vx all day out in the open and mag dk not so much once you start getting trained that's that's it like you can only handle so many people at a time you just don't have the damage in the sustain it's too hard to have that trifecta going on so right now again i'm just trying to draw people over cutting watching my resources again with this build on your back bar it's very good because the desert rose is just so invaluable so when you see someone low it's very important for you to just stay on them no matter what else is going on. I'll go ahead and go back here. Um, this guy going in this fight, coming around this corner, he kind of blew his load on me. Right, uh, yeah, right uh, right back here. So, I believe he done. He's, I, I, I think he ulted here, I'm not entirely sure. But right here, notice that I don't have my armor scale up this is a misplay on my part you always want to have your resistances buff up because that's like 10 percent overall mitigation so that was mistake number one and mistake number two i'm popping wings and there's really no one with projectiles i mean there's this little sword in the back but you know like, like who cares this is a spammy boy so uh, he did not heal for whatever reason and you have to time your fossilize um you don't want to use your fossilize off cooldown your your fossilize is used as a predictor um, what i mean by that is you want to get your opponent to where okay they want to go defensive now so at that moment you think they're going to start going defensive as in like they're trying to roll dodge away then pop their uh, defensive heals and such that's when you want to fossilize because not only are you going to catch them in a roll dodge which expends stamina they have to break free 
and if they want to get away from you in order to heal there's a roll dodge again which stacks so um, your fossilized timing is very very important it's not something you want to use off cooldown necessarily and this guy you know Sork you just gotta stay on top of him but it's a very short video to start out with it was only like a, a 1v3 1v4 uh, something of that nature um, I have plenty of other clips I want to go through I just want to kind of get you guys in a, a habit to just pick your battles a mag DK you can do a lot I mean if you go against a lot of um, newer players um, you can obviously do a lot more than uh, showcased here you know for example in Meteor Mayhem is a, a re really really good time to do just that so hopefully this is a little bit of a of a, uh, a session that you guys can kind of learn from a little bit. The kind of moral of the story is really watch your fossilized timings because that's where your burst has to come in. Um, you don't want to just throw them out all willy nilly and have people CC immune. And on top of that, there's all kinds of bonuses now for when you're CC immune. So you got to be careful of that. And it's just all about the kite game with DK. You, you got to figure out what the terrain is and just kind of lure people in. That's the way you do it. So hopefully, uh, pretty short video. This helps. If you like content like this, please leave a like and a sub, as always. And if there's anything I approve on, please let me know. But please, only actually like the content if you enjoy it. I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of critiques out there you would like to provide. That's great. I'll be more than happy to go over this build again. This is probably what I'm going to be rocking on the PTS as well. Um, there's just really not a lot of sets that I think that needs to be changed. Plus, um, I'm not using a mythic item in this set, so it's a very obtainable uh, very cheap sets to buy and yeah uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you in the next one here pretty shortly deuces